When a videographer for the Columbus Dispatch noticed a homeless man's unique handwritten sign, he stopped to investigate. The sign read, I have the God-given gift of voice, but it seems nothing could have prepared the world for this. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. And we'll be back with more right after these words. <laughs> And don't forget, tomorrow morning is your chance to win a pair of tickets to see this man live in concert. He goes on to talk about how he'd wanted to be a radio personality since the age of 14, went to school for it, but was derailed by drug and alcohol problems, adding he's been two years sober now. The video went up on the Dispatch website Monday, eventually making its way to YouTube, and in just more than two days, clocked around four million hits. I just had an eargasm. He should be an NBA announcer. He should do audio books. Get this man's voice on everything. And for Ted Williams, the homeless man with the golden radio voice, the viral video has given him a second chance. His first appearance after the video's meteoric rise was on local radio station WNCI, where the first job offers and gifts started coming in. So one of the things that we'd like to offer you is full-time work. Oh. with both the Cleveland Cavaliers oh. as well as with Hillary Simone's Arena. Oh. Top of it, because we know that you're a person who's trying to get up and on your feet, yes. Quicken Loans is actually offering to pay a mortgage on a home. Oh, oh my God. God. God, that's it. Interested parties have ranged from the Cavs to the NFL to a local credit union, and a Los Angeles talent agency has offered to help make him a millionaire. But for Williams, who appeared on CBS's early show with a new haircut and shave, the most important thing is getting his life back on track. Well, I, I would like to just have a job and a home, uh, an apartment or anything, you know, to, to be able to cook in. I'd like to, you know, just get my life in a responsible area of, of, of a 53-year-old man, a tax-paying citizen, and try to put some of my bad memories and everything. Well, I'm not going to forget where I came from, but I'm, I'm, I just want to put some of that on the back burner. A writer for the Globe and Mail applauds the story as an example of social media uniting people for a good cause. Whereas a few years ago, William's story would likely have remained a local one-off feature. His tale has become known around the world as the YouTube video spreads via Twitter, Facebook, and other social media. If the web community has any influence, they're going to make sure he gets off the streets forever, throws away his sign, and uses his voice to build a better life. But while the majority of the blogosphere basks in the tale's warm and fuzzy feelings, a writer for the racial justice news site Colorline says, don't lose sight of the larger implications of William's story and what social factors might have landed him in a rough spot. He's professionally trained, experienced, and has a phenomenal voice that can compete against the top voice actors of today, but he's still having trouble finding a job. Blacks, Latinos, and American Indians have always had higher unemployment rates than whites, even when the economy is thriving. Williams says the sudden rush of media attention has made him a, quote, nervous wreck, but it's also given him the chance to see his mother, who lives in New York, for the first time in years. To see the video that got the whole thing started, check out the link in our transcript section. I'm Megan Murphy with Newsy.com, multiple sources, the real story.